Mary's very committed. She's all in. So no matter if it is a job related task, a volunteer effort, or even vacation, she's definitely all in. She's very present in what she's doing. She's gonna complete and carry out whatever the situation is. Very, very committed. And that makes people feel comfortable that they can rely on her. They know she's gonna do what she says she's gonna do. There were probably two points in my career that were turning points. The first was really actually pre-career. It was my time at Sam Houston when I changed my major. So I originally started out as a business education major. Both of my parents are educators and I thought that was the path I was going to go down. And then I started taking some of the business classes and an internship and changed my major to accounting and saw more possibilities available to me then and having a university where that was easy to change your majors was really important for me. The second really big transition, when I first got out of college my um, I studied accounting in school, I have a um, bachelor's degree in accounting and my first career was in public accounting which was a great career. I loved, I spent eight years in public accounting but there came a point where um, I had to kind of decide is this the life I was going to live forever and worked a lot of hours, and the opportunity came up for me to come to work for the Girl Scouts. A friend of mine recommended the position to me, so I decided to take that leap of faith, and it's been 23 years, so I think it's worked out okay. <laughs> yeah. Whether it was in her years as an accountant, um, or as a CEO of a company, your staff feel more comfortable with you when they have the confidence that you're gonna do what you say you're gonna do. Any kind of corporation that you're talking with about fundraising, they wanna have the confidence that that leader um, of the business is going to give them the attention that they deserve. Um, so I've, I feel like the commitment that she displayed early on and has carried over has made her very, very successful in her role as a CEO. One thing I would say um, is that none of us is successful on our own, that we all rely on other people to be successful and certainly as you get into leadership positions that's one of the things that's been incredibly important to me is to be uh, surrounded by people who are capable and mission oriented. Um, who may bring something to the table different than what I have, who push me to be better and who I can push to be better. It has to be a calling to work at a place like the Girl Scouts, to work at a nonprofit organization. The mission of that organization, creating girls of courage, confidence, and character, has to be part of who you are. It has to be in your heart, and it certainly is in Mary's heart. We have a motto in Girl Scouts that we always leave a place better than we found it and I would I would equate that with success when you um, the people you interact with the organization you are employed by or run or whatever your role is if you leave those places better than you found them I think that defines success and I think in terms of a leadership role one of the most important things that we do is to make sure we're bringing uh, people behind us, that we're mentoring the people that come behind us um, so that it's not about you, that it's about um, the organization and that that organization will thrive long after you've departed. From Mary, I have learned the value of teamwork. Um, you can have a great idea, but if you don't have the people to execute that idea and you don't have their buy-in, to the idea, you're not going to get very far. And for anyone that works in the nonprofit industry, this is extremely important because you have volunteers, people that could be doing lots of other things, and they have chosen to give their time to the Girl Scouts. And there has to be a reason that they do that. The same with the staff. The staff members could be working in the for-profit industry, making a great deal more money, but it's about their love of the mission, it's about being part of the team and working together in the project. And frankly, it's Mary. She's the one that inspires that. And without that, we wouldn't have the incredible number of volunteers and the great staff we have today without her leadership. Probably my favorite day of the year is our Gold Award Ceremony. This is where girls come together who've earned the highest award in Girl Scouting. And earning the highest award is great, and these girls have accomplished amazing things. But one of the things that always stands out for me that day is you see all of these girls coming together who are from different socioeconomic levels, different races and ethnicities, all girls who have different interests and passions. and 
Girl Scouting is the place where they all come together, and this may never be a group of girls that come together otherwise, and that's where I see our mission really coming to life. On a personal note, I guess I have a daughter who's now 21 years old, and um, I've been with Girl Scouts now for 23 years, and I would not feel very successful I, if I was successful for 58,000 girls and not for the one that I was raising at home. So that's always been an important part for me of feeling successful and I've had an incredible network of parents, my parents and my husband who um, have certainly been um, working alongside with me um, to make sure that I achieve that mission as well. But the real mission is the girls and so hearing the voices of the girls behind me as we're having, hearing this conversation as we're sitting in the Girl Scout Museum and they're learning about the history of Girl Scouting, that's what fills my cup.